Hello again from Exit 222. We were really disappointed that due to the COVID-19 this year, we were forced to cancel the 2020 St. Helen ORV Jam event. This would have been the fifth year that we, I brought that and friends, would have been organizing and hosting this event. And we definitely were looking forward to something special, not a cancellation. We finally decided at the last minute, and after so many supporters reached out, that we had to do something. This event is so much more than just the races that got canceled. It's a coming together, a tradition, a gathering that shows that no matter what we ride, we are all like-minded in the fact that we love to be off-road, especially at Exit 222. We decided to have a parade and still sell the event shirts to keep the fundraising part of our event at least alive. It was wonderful to stand at the event site and hear brass, not the silence that we otherwise would have heard that weekend in August. It was a fantastic turnout. Over 140 off-road vehicles lined up to parade through the recreational community that we all love. We had trucks, jeeps, trackers, golf carts, dirt bikes, quads, side-by-sides, buggies, and even horses. It was wonderful. The crowds were small, the hearts were full. Kids watched on the side of the street, and we couldn't throw them candy, so we played them music, and they danced. One little boy even made sure to hand deliver a piece of candy. I know he wasn't supposed to, but he wanted to say thank you for the play. We didn't have a theme, but our participants brought the spirit. Flags flew, banners were hung, and everyone had fun. And as tradition would have it, many memories were made in St. Helen that weekend in August. Just when we thought it was over and it couldn't get any better, one of the participants stood up and gave a beautiful blessing of our riders, our rides, and our entire country. It was so moving, and I feel like something we all actually needed that day. After the blessing, it was really hard to hold back tears when we ended the event with a moment of silence for our friends and fellow off-road enthusiasts who passed away this year, Mark Cook and Robert Cicero. For a moment, in a bizarre year, the world felt just right, and I hope you guys felt that too. Thank you everyone who attended, volunteered, or ordered a shirt to help our cause. Because of you, we were able to raise $553 to donate to our community and as well collect food donations for the local food pantry. Those donations were supposed to be split 50-50 between the We Care Shop and the Richfield Township Department of Public Safety, but the department chose to donate their half too, so all of the donations went to support the We Care Shop and the excellent work that they do for our community. Thank you again everybody for attending. We hope you had just as much fun as we had organizing the event. Thank you for all of our volunteers. Of course, we could not do what we do without you, and you're so appreciated and loved. We hope we'll see you guys next year at the ORV Jam, the real event, 2021. As usual, the second weekend in August, right here in St. Helen, Michigan. See you guys.
of public safety for shutting down the road for us. There's the end. Awesome. Great parade. for being here today. This is awesome. Uh, I would just like to uh, lead us in a quick prayer. Bless the riders. Bless the machine. Bless this town. Bless those that are serving us today out here. Uh, keeping us safe. So if you uh, gentlemen, just please remove your hands if you want. You're very welcome to. Dear Lord, we thank you today for this opportunity to gather as free men and women in this country to do what we love to do best. Whether we're on a machine, we're riding a horse, we're walking alongside, we're with our families. Lord, we know you're with us, and we just ask that you bless all that are here today, all that come after us, and all that have come before us. Keep us safe, keep us alive on these trails, and bless all those that we come in contact with today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. And if I could have one more second, we do want to also remember we had two riders this season, Robert Cicero and Mark Cook passed away while this was all going on and we weren't able to remember them the way we wanted to. There were many more in addition that this season have been passed and so we want to take a moment of silence right now to remember Mark Cook and Robert Cicero as well as anyone else that anyone may have lost during this time. Let's take a moment of silence and remembrance.